Journey is in total and complete disarray. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I I don't even know like how to keep up with this whole just absolute disaster of a mess that this band is currently in. Um, you may have noticed that I I kind of haven't uploaded any videos about this recently. I kind of stood back and realized that I need to let some of this stuff just hit the wall and see what happens because it's just the story is changing so much. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, um, you know, just to recap journey's status as a band was kind of up in the air due to, um, a lot of legal drama. Um, it started off with, uh, fighting over accounts. Um, Neil accusing, Jonathan Cain of denying him access to American Express card. Um, Jonathan Cain hitting back, claiming Neil was deranged and um, financially irresponsible. The wives got dragged into it. Then, if you'll remember, Neil uh, filed a cease and desist against Jonathan Cain for playing at a Trump event. And so, you know, these guys are going on tour for their 50th anniversary um, next month. And it's been really just up in the air. Um, uh, Neil publicly asked Greg Raleigh to come back to the band and he essentially confirmed that it is happening. Um, we have since learned that that is maybe not happening. So, um, we have a lot of things that have happened in the past few days on this. Um, Jonathan Cain did confirm that he will be on the tour. Uh, he confirmed in an interview with a social media post he was um, vacationing and that he was getting ready to go on tour. So he is he's confirmed that he will be on this tour. Uh, I was previously questioning whether that was going to be possible given the uh, fighting that we have seen. Well, evidently, they're going to make it work. Um, Neil Sean has also filed a cease and, this, uh, cease and desist excuse me, against Jonathan Cain's wife, Paula White, um, accusing her of having um, access to accounts and things that she should not have. So he has taken legal action against Jonathan Cain's wife. Um, and then we had some the big story that came about yesterday or the day before. Um, <laughs> The inclusion of Greg Raleigh was kind of thrown up in the air um, by an Instagram post by Neil Sean's wife, Michelle. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, let's see. It was, uh, this was following the tragic death of Jeff Beck. She says, Precious, Jeff Beck has shown us that along with so many who are in heaven now, we see how very precious time is we look forward to seeing everyone on tour neil sean and journey 50th anniversary freedom tour of a lifetime tour 50 two band members are adamant no fighting against greg raleigh to return life is so precious neil and greg agree who wants to have that feeling truly sad music is for inspiration and joy everyone loves you greg raleigh and respects who you are and all you have been an R2 journey, for without you picking up Neil Sean from school, journey would not exist. Neil Sean and Greg Raleigh will be together, somewhere together, at least one time this year in honor of what they began in 1972. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's a long-winded, messy Instagram post, and it's kind of hard to parse out what it actually means, but the, it seems that two members of the band were potentially against Greg Raleigh coming back. Um, so naturally one would assume that one of those would be Jonathan Cain. Um, so that, you know, okay. That makes some sense. Um, no idea who the second one would be because it's obviously now Neil Sean. I doubt it would be Arnell. And well, honestly, we don't even know who is in the band beyond that. Um, Dean Castronovo, maybe, but he, why would he have anything against Greg Raleigh? So this whole thing is just an absolute mess. Um, but now the new reporting, um, is that that's actually not the case. Neil Sean and Jonathan Cain are actually 
um, an agreement about Greg Raleigh's involvement. Um, so this article here says that um, they were the embattled bandmates were apparently in agreement on Raleigh's addition. So, you know, it it doesn't really... We have no idea at this point if Greg Raleigh or is joining or not. Um, you know, at this point, we have Neil posting on Facebook directly about Jonathan. Um, and we have a, um, Jonathan Kane in an interview with um, Q104, so radio station, I believe, um, dispelling rumors that the band is breaking up. Um, he says that he will be on tour, that he will also, he does approve of Greg Raleigh. So Neil posted on Facebook, hello friends. It now seems that all links to Jonathan Kane's statement today on Q104 are dead. Hopefully John will clarify very soon so Greg Raleigh and all of us are not being misled about his statement. So absolutely no idea what that means. Um... Neil and uh, Jonathan Kane are obviously not talking. So, um, this is an absolute disaster. And, I mean, it's just an absolute disaster in every possible way. Um, Steve Perry and Neil Sean, their little spat about the trademarks, that's over. It was dropped. Um, and now Neil is back to wanting to get coffee with Steve Perry again. So, um, Steve Perry's not going to come anywhere near this absolute train wreck. He's he's beyond that point in his life. He's putting out Christmas songs and just making the music he wants to make. Why would Steve Perry touch this with a 10-foot pole? He's not going to do that. Um, so Steve Perry is an out. He's out. It's not going to happen. Um, and I, don't, I can't blame the guy. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near this disaster. There's just legal drama. There is social media drama. There is just nonstop bickering. There's interviews against each other. I mean, this is just crazy. Um, these guys are fighting pretty bad. I mean, almost this has got to be just about as bad as when Steve Perry left the band. So we have all of this infighting. The band is going on tour. It starts in just a few weeks. Their first show is in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um... It looks like it's going to happen. I mean, Jonathan Cain is insisting it's going to happen. Neil Sean is insisting it's going to happen. So these two individuals who have been fighting, going after each other's spouses, um, just absolutely destroying each other in the press, are going to go on stage and play music together. Um, what a way to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Um, so it might be an interesting show to go to just to see what comes of any of this. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, it's just a shame. Journey's been around for 50 years, and this is where we're going. We're just fighting more and more and more. Um, I thought we were done with this. I thought the band was in a new era. Last year should have been the start of a new era. We had a new album, an interesting lineup, some good live performances, and, well, we're just back to the fighting, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. Uh, I will continue covering all of this, but it's getting to the point where it's very challenging to cover because there's just so much nonsense going on, um, so much information to parse through that is so much of it is just hearsay and um, one side versus another side and so much information that we will never have privy to that's all going on in, you know, with the lawyers. Um, so as of right now, I have no idea if Greg Rowley is involved. I'm going to lean towards no. He's probably not going to be involved in the actual tour. Neil and Greg will probably do some sort of one-off, like, journey through time type deal um, in celebration of the 50th anniversary. That's what that's looking like. But if Jonathan Cain really doesn't have a problem with Greg Rowley joining, well, then, I mean, okay, then what's stopping him? Uh, maybe Greg Raleigh is realizing this is not worth doing. I don't know. Um, it's really hard to say. I really want Greg Raleigh to be involved in the 50th anniversary tour, and if he is involved, this will 100% be a tour worth going to see. 
um, regardless of the fighting, because it's Greg Rowley on stage with Journey. That is amazing. I just don't know if we're actually going to see that. So, you know, just stay tuned for more information. We have the actual tour starting soon, so we'll be able to, you know, see some concrete stuff as to far as, as far as lineups and things and set lists. And I'll, of course, dive into all of that as much as I can. Um, so, you know, content-wise, I'm probably going to start moving a little bit away from Journey. I haven't had a lot of time to focus on the channel lately, which is why the content has been very irregular. Um, but I'm trying, going to try to probably focus on some other things. Um, it is the, f not, not only is it the 50th anniversary of Journey, it is the 50th anniversary uh, since Queen released their first album, Queen One, came out in 1973. And Queen is like my favorite band. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a History of Queen series this year. Um, that will be of a similar caliber as my History of Journey series, which if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. I reviewed every single Journey album, had a blast doing it. It was a lot of fun. Thinking we we're going to do that with Queen next. Um, and, you know, cover some other music that is of interest. And I am still working on a Best of 2022 video. I know it's, you know, two weeks out, but still... There was a lot of great music that came out in 2022, whether it's Journey, Freedom, um, to Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, so much great music. So I'm going to have a video on, out on that. Um, so what do you guys think of the latest Journey Chaos? Please let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.